This is my boomstick. What's up survivors? Welcome back to another 7 days to die tutorial playing in alpha 11.3. Today I'm going to show you how to make the blunderbuss, the good old boomstick. Now this is a muzzle loading rifle that you can actually make on the first day uh, if you have a little bit of luck and a little bit of skill and have a good town you can work in here. Now while not quite near as powerful as the actual shotgun in the game, it's much easier to get because you don't have to try and find a book to learn how to craft the pieces, you don't have to scour the world for all four pieces to make a shotgun, and finding a fully complete shotgun with ammo is much much more rare so I'm gonna show you guys how to make the blunderbuss for starters it's extremely easy all you're going to need for this is some wooden planks and two short iron pipes and that's all you have to have to make these now the wooden planks obviously you get from just chopping down a tree throw a log in here it gives you some wooden planks now the short iron pipes you can either find those as is or if you're having trouble finding those you can destroy a toilet and get those or the air conditioning units that you can find outside along the sides of the houses. These right here. Now your stone axe will actually break these but you're going to spend a lot of time actually breaking those so hopefully you'll get lucky and find some of those. But once you actually have them you only have to have just the two here. Two up like this, one wooden plank and you can craft your own blunderbuss. Alrighty, after you have your blunt bros made down here, the next thing you're going to have to craft is ammo. Generally, you don't find the ammo by itself laying around near as much as you can easily just craft it here. You only need a piece of paper, which you can find everywhere, small stones, which once again you can find everywhere, or gunpowder. Now, gunpowder is a little bit less common to find, and so sometimes you might end up having to break down and actually mine for the necessary stuff to craft it. Alrighty, if you happen to be unlucky enough to be able to find gunpowder laying around or whatever, you're going to have to go do some mining like I said. And the two places you're going to have to get resources from are going to be potassium nitrate and coal ore. This is what they look like when you pick them up here. Put a potassium nitrate block up here, it gives you potassium nitrate powder. And same thing if you put coal ore up there. Now once you actually have one of each of these, all you have to do is just put one potassium nitrate, one lump of coal up here, and this will give you some gunpowder. And then once you have the gunpowder, all you have to do is just place it up here in your crafting table, a little bit of paper, and a small stone. Now you can also replace a small stone with scrap iron if you happen to find that laying around there too. Since it can be broken down from cans and spare tools and weapons and stuff, you can use either one of these here and that will give you the ammo that you need. And once you have your blunderbuss and your ammo, you are set to go hunting here. Now, it is a lot more accurate if you right-click to ADS like this. You can get a much better shot. You lose your crosshairs, but it's a lot more accurate now. Now, the blunderbuss itself only does an entity damage of 25, meaning you're not going to kill anything on one hit. But if you do happen to hit them in the head, you get a damage bonus of 6. So on some of the weaker zombies, the cheerleaders, the nurses, um, some of the skinnier, slower zombies or whatever, you can get a one-hit kill by shooting them in the head. Now some of the fatties and the spiders, it might take more than one actually shot to take them down. So you just have to try and test it out. So if you guys have any questions, have any comments, any problems or whatever, definitely leave them in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys have a good one and I will catch you later.